A current recession is on the way. In fact, it's on your very doorstep. So if you'd like to learn how to recession-proof your fitness business, not just for this recession, but for every recession that will follow throughout your entire career, if you'd like to learn how to continuously make money and how to get clients that will pay you no matter what your price point is, then in this video, I'm gonna be giving you three simple tips that you could go ahead and implement by the end of watching this video that will make sure you are able to make money no matter what happens in the economy, no matter how many recessions present themselves to you throughout your fitness career and no matter what your clients say about paying you. My name is Michael Cavardia. And before we get started, if you're wondering why you should listen to me, well, it's not because I built my first fitness business, which was an in-person personal training service. It's not because I scaled that personal training business to $10,000 per month. It's not because I ran out of time and then thought of an innovative way to be able to serve my clients while minimizing my costs. So then what did I go ahead and do? I took my fitness business online. I was able to make even more money with the same amount of clients and reduce my costs. I then moved my fitness business to helping other coaches help people like you make money in the fitness industry. And in this video, I'm going to be diving into those specific tips, the tips that helped me be successful, that you could go ahead and implement that will help you be successful throughout this recession and help you make $10,000 per month at minimum with your fitness business. Tip number one, you have to be niche specific. In the very beginning of my fitness business, my motto was a healthier world, one person at a time, which meant I was worked with everyone under the sun. No matter what their goals were, I worked with them. But this brought one problem through to my business. Different people had different jobs, which had different pay. And when things got tough, different people couldn't pay me my rates. They had to drop me out, no matter how loyal they were to me and no matter how great of a relationship we had. Because at the end of the day, people are always gonna cut out the luxury goods and services that serve a purpose in their life, but they don't need at all. So when I actually niched down and I worked specifically with business owners who were making multiple millions per year, I never had to worry about money at all. So you might find it highly attractive to work with everyone, to be able to help an, a huge array of people reach their goals. But I can assure you, if you're looking for long-term success, if you're looking to have your fitness business stand the ultimate test of time, then you must zone in on one specific niche. So you could go ahead and look at your skills, look at what you're good at doing, and then look at the best individual suited for you to be able to deliver on that service. Tip number two, increase your prices. Let me give you a quick example. So if you were to choose from buying one of these two bottles of water, I bet you'd choose the bottle on the right. And why is that? Because of the branding? No, because of the price of the water. You have no idea about the brand, neither the price of the bottle of water on my left hand, but the bottle on the right looks attractive, it's more appealing and it costs more money. So the perceived value of this bottle of water automatically increases. Even if this bottle of water might be better than the Fiji water, you'd still go ahead and choose the Fiji water. Now let me go further and explain. When the price point of your services is really low, you do two things. You attract quite a few people, so you get quantity, but you don't get the quality at all because lower prices bring in lower income earners. Now, if you are looking to grow your fitness business over a long period of time, if you are looking to have your fitness business stand the ultimate test of time, then you need to be able to get people that can pay you no matter what's going on in the economy, such as a recession, because most of the time, the lower income earners are going to have to worry about saving money. So you are going to be cut. No matter how great your services are, they will cut you. And no matter how great of a bond you have with each one of your clients, they'll unfortunately unfortunately have to cut you to be able to afford their life when going through tough times like a recession. So then your business and your life suffers. So what can you do for that? Now, this is the most important tip that I see very few fitness professionals implement. It's the type of clients that you choose. I personally, when I moved to the online space, worked with rich client. And that's tip number three. It's super simple. Work with rich, wealthy clients that have absolutely no problem paying you no matter what your rates are and no matter what is going on in the economy because they have money. Now this does two things for your fitness business and for your life. You live hassle free, less complaints and more people achieving the results that they are coming through because rich people are more determined. Rich people want the goals that they set out for themselves. They have a different mindset and working with them just allows you to have a simpler workflow in your business. It allows you to be able to move your business forward so much faster and have that predictability month after month after month, being able to stand the ultimate test of time. But most importantly, when it comes to payments, they have no problem to pay no matter what your services are. Rich people could afford a thousand to two thousand dollars per month easily at the drop of a hat. And they do that because they're committed to making sure that they reach their goals at the end of the day. So if you are looking to actually take your business forward, to scale your fitness business to ten thousand dollars per month, then this is the 
simplest tip to go ahead and implement, work with rich clients. But working with rich clients is gonna enable you to be able to bring out the best of yourself as well. Because when you are pricing your product so much higher, you need to be able to deliver the absolute best of the best service. Because if it's not, then those rich clients are going to talk and they're going to talk very quickly. So then you'll have people knowing that your services aren't great, but your prices are really high. So make sure that your price point and your services are on par. In fact, over deliver on the value that you go ahead and deliver to those rich clients. And I can assure you, they'll put your name out to every single one of the people they know who in turn will be rich as well and then come through for your services, which will make you grow, make your business grow and have your income at a stable point where you can actually afford the life that you have dreamt of living. Putting this all together can be quite a daunting task. Understanding how to be able to navigate through a recession can be quite daunting. So I've gone ahead and made all the mistakes. I've been in the fitness industry for the last seven years. And throughout that time, I've learned the tips, I've learned the tricks, I've learned every single thing under the sun that's gonna help you be successful, just like I am today. So the first thing that you could go ahead and do is click on the link in the description of this video. You'll come through to a training video, which is completely for free. All you need to do is enter your name and email address and watch the entire training video. I go through a detailed approach of how I can help you achieve those goals, achieve $10,000 per month, achieve working with richer clients, achieve increasing your prices and achieve choosing a niche. It's entirely for free. And then you could go ahead and sign up for the masterclass if you'd like. It will be the best thing that you could actually invest in throughout this recession, which will allow you to come out at the end of the 18 or 20 month period, even stronger, even wealthier, and the client base that is going to be loving every single second of working with you. Make sure to click on that subscribe button. Be sure to stay tuned for my next video where I'll bring in even more detailed advice that could help you take your fitness business to the next level. And I'll see you guys then.